If you have an E500i-B2 TV and the symptom of no picture, but you do have sound, then the problem is most likely the power supply and it should be replaced. There is always the chance that it could be a different problem with the TV, but we have found that the power supply in this model with these symptoms has fixed the problem over 90% of the time. Before purchasing a replacement power supply, be sure to find your part number on your existing board to help find the correct replacement. You can look for a sticker that has a number that starts with 056 like the one we have shown in the video. Then search that number or your model number on our website and match the necessary information on the product pages to be sure you are ordering the correct replacement part or a compatible substitute. Before starting the replacement process, it is recommended to take photos along the way so that you have something to reference for seeing what the parts look like originally in the TV along with all the connections. Be sure your TV is unplugged. I will start by removing the back cover of the TV so that I can access the boards. I will start by replacing the power supply board. The first thing I will do is disconnect all of the cables from the board. Next, I will remove the screws that hold the board to the TV panel. The power supply board is connected to the LED driver, so you will need to gently pull the power supply board from the LED driver board at the connection. Then, I will take my replacement board line it up correctly, and then screw it to the panel to secure it tightly. Since the power supply and LED driver board are connected, you may need to loosen a screw on the LED driver board and lift the board gently to reconnect the power supply. Then I can reconnect all of the cables. 